Hello everyone, and welcome to Demon Souls. This is my first time playing through this game, and I've been told it's very unforgiving at the start, so I plan on taking my time with it. If you enjoyed watching this, and like watching people struggle, then please like the video and consider subscribing to be notified when the next Demon Souls video goes live. I hope you have a great rest of your day. That was a big boy. <laughs> Good God. Okay. I hope I don't have to fight that. Ah yes, Shakespeare. <laughs> What's with the posture issues? Like me. Thief's high dexterity. They have a bow as well, though, and I, I don't think I'm going to use it. Although, I could try it, couldn't I? Oh, they've got 13 luck as well. Hmm. What do we think? Thief or Wanderer? I think they're my two. I like the thief's outfit. Yeah, I'll go with Wanderer. Yeah, I'll go with that. What's the pastiest colour? Hold on. I'll do it my actual age. I don't know how much I weigh. What's this measured in? The temptation to get myself pointy teeth is quite... Yeah. Pointy teeth. Yeah. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is until the colourless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. 
that the old King Alant had roused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless folk had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Bure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astraea with her knight, Garl Vinland. And Sage Freak, the visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. dark in here. Ooh, what's that? Should I not have done that? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh no, maybe I should have. I know it wants me to do a strong attack, but they take too long. Fog doors give me anxiety. <laughs> There we go. Just like in Dark Souls. Hello, big boy. Is this a scripted death? is the Nexus. 
it holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. Okay. Do not fear death. Do you fear death? Hello. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Politaria. You came for demon souls. Bah, it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. <laughs> Okay. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the Scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a coward. When I came to, I was in this nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. A candle maiden cared for me during my first days here. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. Poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. That's a bit of foreshadowing there, Thomas. Ah, uh, Smith. Mm, you new here. Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? And if you haven't heard, there's another blacksmith at the entrance to Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man. He knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul-starved men. If you do meet him... No, forget it. That stubborn old nearly will will just chase you off. There aren't enough smithing tools in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons. But you'll just have to make do. And be thankful. That I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place. Well, I would say it's better than dying. Oh, hello. Ooh, hello, madam. Oh, my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for King Alant, failing to show proper respect? Oh, Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. I take it I go to this one, then. Ah, Bolisaria. Alright, let's try it. With half health. Ooh. 
A big boy. With lunch. 